They say the meek will inherit the earth. We say the nerds are already in control. Welcome to the Frackin' Nerds, episode number 279. I'm your host, Doc Martin, and joining me will start off uh, the closest to me, and that's our own Chris Class. Welcome, Chris. Hey. hey. And how are you? Hey, grab me. I'm good. I apologize about the glare with my shirt glasses. you got wearing go. today. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, Macho Man. Ooh, look at that. Dig it. <laughs> All right. And then I apologize the- about the glare on the glasses, but my right. contacts were fucking with me right before I got here. So well, that that yeah, that'll have to be what it is. And then the yeah, the man from the East Coast. Yeah, he did say he was going to. You got a lot of headroom going on there. What is going on in your? I don't know, this is what we all miss when we don't see your background there. Yeah, I figured you guys would like to <laughs> Get your see what was behind unicorn me. Unicorn there. Yep. What's what's there to your right there? What what else are we looking at? That's a calendar. That's a calendar of what? Who's on there? Uh, some wrestlers. Oh, okay. You don't know their name? You're just wrestling guys that are. I mean, nobody who fucking listens to this wrestling. Uh, this show knows wrestling, so. Yeah. Okay. Who are they though? Maybe, maybe. Well, it's uh, the Rascals: uh, Trey Miguel, mm. Zachary Wentz, and Desmond Xavier. All uh, I think we interviewed Desmond Xavier on um, the Back Row Hecklers, Chris. I think all those saying. dudes were interviewed by Big Brian V. They were okay. Those, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, Miguel was too. Trey Miguel, I know he was. Yeah. I don't know. I think, but I think yeah. Desmond Xavier too. I don't know about Zachary Wentz. Hey. Fucking Brian's like, yeah, we did interview all three of them, motherfuckers. He's yelling right now. Let's <laughs> yell at <out> the radio. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, today on the show, uh, the Matrix will probably be without Morpheus. HBO not Max. Probably. Well, yeah, he's not going to be there. HBO Max and the DC Universe and all the characters that could be coming to the Marvel's Avenger game, um, which I think I'm the only one that's played the demo since Joshua was nice enough to allow me access to it. so mm. we'll, we'll That's what a friend does. Quick talk in regards to that. Uh, but I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but you can buy one of those little kid-friendly radio flyers, versions of a Tesla Model S. It only costs you about 500 bucks, or the new one that's coming out with no motor inside of it, which is only $100. It's going to be called My First Moto, Mo, Model Y. And uh, yeah, what's the scale to this? It's, it's for little kids. It's like like a power wheel or a like a hot flyer. wheel or no no like a like a radio flyer like the little cart thing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What do they Those call that in New York, there, Joshua? Yeah. A wagon. Like wagons. A wagon. Yeah. That's yeah. It. A wagon. Yeah. We never know oh, okay, what Joshua okay. calls things in New York. There. So the motorized one would be like a power wheel. Yes. Did you guys right. ever have the power wheels when you were younger? Nah, I had a big wheel, man. We were poor. Big, no, big wheels were <laughs> awesome. I don't think they had like. Big wheels were the shit, man. I wore my tires with holes in those things, man. It was, or maybe, I don't know, we were poor. Maybe I got my. Was that the, uh, <laughs> and the goods where he convinced the kids, like, yo, give me your, bo- your hoppity hop for your big wheel? <laughs> Is that what it was? I don't know. I, dude, you're asking me a movie. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember the, the goods uh, with the, 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 the used car salesman, Don Reddy? No, I don't know what that you, is. You you never seen that movie? No. Oh man, it's a good movie. You should watch it. I it's with Jeremy Piven. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. Love Jeremy Piven. We know that. And oh, speaking of movies, I did not do. Uh, oh, you didn't finish uh, Gremlins. You I didn't, didn't start even start it. it. <laughs> well, I'm assuming. That, well, that train is this late. is this is how I typically <laughs> one <feel> and like, <laughs> one. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like if you if you didn't finish it, obviously you should have not have started it. But I forgot the class. It takes three days to watch a movie with you, so yeah, uh, yeah. yeah sometimes. And so then, yeah, like with me, you like, if I said no, I didn't finish it, meant I didn't watch it. You didn't even begin it. I got oh, you. So that was a reasonable oh. question that you asked. Okay, yes, okay. It was. <laughs> I will watch something. Today is the first of my four days off. I've worked three in a row. I'm so tired, but I got, I'm going to stay up late. Um, I will watch it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Between now and next next uh, show, I'll try to watch it. It's not that hard. It's I know. maybe I mean, two it's hours, hard. maybe an hour and a half. You don't understand, Doc. Hard. People like me in class kind of just don't like being told what to watch. Like, <laughs> it's just I welcome the recommendations because I haven't watched shit. But I just, I don't know. 
don't that know. motherfucker don't know be on his is. Xbox on Netflix and just stream it. He'll just fucking browse through all the movies on Netflix. And it's I like, do that for as long in the two yeah. hours that I could have watched a movie. Yeah. I'm just like, there ain't shit on here. Watch every well, fucking We'll movie talk about that trailer. because Netflix has got something for those people that can't find anything to watch on Netflix. So. Hmm. Nice segue. Still, Still won't work for that. class. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, did you got? Well, I mean, with the you know the 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 fancy the the rich kids, they had the green machines. You guys remember the green machines with the big wheels? No. All right. Well, that was a great conversation. Let's just move yeah, on. Good talk. <laughs> he just said we were poor. Uh, you don't know <laughs> no, what the well, rich we did. Have, like there was one kid in my neighborhood who had a green machine. The rest of us had the big wheels with the which always had that little like braking thing that you used to like make curves and stuff like that i don't know what i'm talking about i, I just had the wheels you push back because you would pedal like that and yeah you just do your brakes your automatic brakes i didn't have no oh, you didn't have what you didn't have a handbrake no wow dude, my hand my hand over god yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we <laughs> we did have that brakes. one buddy on the on the street his dad was a cop and i remember that kid had like the first atari he had the first like he would get movies right off the bat. Like he was a kid that he probably had a fucking big egg or whatever. You're so, so was his dad finding these things? Like it must have because yeah, it's, <laughs> that's it, yeah, it's no, 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 really no, make no. a lot his, of money, like, do they? His his. Co- uh, I was either saying the cops were making money back then, or number two, he was finding product and he was selling. This was also <laughs> yeah. This was also South Florida in the eighties. Oh, so I'm sure, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He was yeah, yeah, yeah the dude. Product, yeah. He was fi- yeah. Either that or he was doing you know Colombian What's drug bust and like. Brazil? Whatever the fuck her name was, the godmother Grizel Grado, whatever the fuck. Yeah, she was yeah. Him, she was paying <laughs> yeah. him off to fucking like transport I mean, the money. That may have been the case because they moved from the like the neighborhood we were at. They had the nicest house in that neighborhood. They moved to this fucking ritzy ass place. Now I don't know what his oh, mom did, but he yeah, we go over there. Like, he had a pool. Like whenever, whenever there was all said and done, it was like a thousand cops in the fucking Florida were like convicted or they were on the take. That, that he was one of them. <laughs> you know, up until this was, I was, this was the mid 80s, mid to late 80s. I have never thought about that up until this point. That, <laughs> yeah, that right. makes, I was like, wow, he, he's a cop. He had a lot of money. I, yeah, I don't, he was on the, he wasn't on the up and up. It doesn't sound like. <laughs> it's like every episode of fucking Law and Order. No, oh, that cop has a nice car. What the fuck is he doing with all that? He can't afford that on cop money. Right. right. <laughs> um, we need that, like, what is that? That law and order, like, dun, dun, dun. You need to add that in here. <laughs> well, guys, if you're residents of Deschutes County, Oregon, We're tonight not. they are starting off a, uh, no, I'm sorry, in a month, uh, you can book a uh, at the last Blockbuster video store to actually stay the night in there. Three available nights, September 18th, 19th, and the 20th. How much uh-huh. does it cost for each night? $4. Oh, shit. <laughs> and you sleep on the floor? Like, you bring a... You bring a, a, a Let's see. No, they have uh, a They bed. place a fold-out sofa, a beanbag chair, snacks, and a TV set, and a VHS player, and then you just get to choose whatever VHS that's at the Blockbuster there. That's only for three days? Um... Yeah, three available nights. I guess they're just trying it out to see what it's like. They can hold up to four people. I'm trying to think how I'd do in a situation like that. If I'd be like, finally, I'll sit here and like pay attention to a movie. Or if I'd be like five minutes in and be like, fuck this, I got to get out of here. Well, and think just- about this. Like, <laughs> how many people are going to use it as an actual Airbnb, especially if it's a couple? And that big ass window that blocked the Yeah. <laughs> you don't. I mean, you're just you be looking at it. Well, like, why? <laughs> Like wow, what a difference! I, I feel like <laughs> this would be like a Jason Crow fantasy, is to mm. go to a blockbuster with all those VHSs and. Oh, I thought you, you meant having sex that? in front of a window. What? Could, could you I, I imagine you, that? I thought he meant can, uh, talking about Crow yes. with. A, yeah. No, no, could, no. Could you imagine him showing up with the fucking like a bunch of VHSs? And they're like, dude, you you know, we got nothing but VHSs yes. here, right? He's like, but do you have these VHSs? I don't know. You know what? I feel like he would be the guy that's willing to fight. Like, let's roll the dice and see which VHS is versus him bringing in his catalog of VHS tapes, like ones that he's actually featured in. Because some of the some of the independent horror movies they've actually made VHS copies of. Specifically for him? Uh, no, no. Well, no. They uh, they made it as like a limited run. Because there are people like him that still buy VHSs. I don't know why. Yes. Well, 50 of them. 
do you think that trend will ever come back? Like vinyls, they've made a big comeback and they're making a comeback. And I guess they went away, you know, during the CD, you know, tape CD, but they were still around. But like, they're really making a big comeback now. To the point no, where I, I like, still don't understand the, the vinyl comeback. I've, I've, I was explaining, uh, our, our very own young Matthew explained this to me. The sound quality on vinyl is the best sound quality. Why is it the I, best? Do you because love I, the sound he, of the no, the the the, uh, the the skipping and the the crackling. I mean the the way he explained it to me because he said he went to school for this or he knew this is because the way it's recorded you you get it's like you're actually there when they're recording you. He's like I you do, don't get that with the. With MP3s it's a, or it's a nostalgic like thing, man, because like I don't I mean, I have Apple Music, but then like I've gone and I've bought like I mean, I just got this the other day. I got Nirvana Unplugged, like fucking no doubt, like a bunch of 90s alternative. And like I got this Wu-Tang Clan and like the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack, a bunch of shit that I'm just like, it's just cool to listen to it that way. It's fun. But, like, if they had, like, I know tapes are trying, like, cassettes are trying to make a comeback. And it's like, dude, the instantaneous of, like, picking the needle up or hitting the skip button, it's about the same. But rewinding, fast forward, doing all that with a tape, I couldn't imagine it. So, I don't see, like, VHS will probably never make, like, a comeback. No, because, like. The quality like sucks, too. Yeah, no, the yeah, quality's yeah. not that good. So. Yeah. All right. That's, that's the only reason why I can say for 100% why people would prefer vinyl. But no yeah. one's going to be like, oh, I need, like everything gets better with visual but audio i don't think there's nothing they could do to make it sound the way it does you know right yeah that makes sense i answered my own question <laughs> well class as we were talking about with netflix uh they're going to be testing a shuffle button um so you just click uh you click the shuffle play button and then it will just randomly find you something to watch no that's not gonna work anyway moving on next why would it work it up. why would it don't work so. who's Who's going to, like, who literally is going to be like, you know what, I'm so bored, let me just press shuffle. Oh, I'm going to watch some random movie about Victorian fucking princesses. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that, yeah. yeah. It's probably here. based off of, like, what you've seen, right? Wouldn't it be, like, based off recommendations? I would recommendations versus just and it didn't randomly. just hit you with something crazy. Right. How many, right. how many times have you seen on Netflix recommendations, you've watched nothing but horror films, and they fucking put a romantic comedy for you? Hey, yeah. in the middle of the this. horror film section. <laughs> No, it's his recommendation. Horror film, horror film, horror film, romantic comedy. And you've watched nothing but fucking horror films. Well, maybe they feel like this would really work for you, but you're not. Well, maybe it's a dumb idea. No one's going to use it. So a dumb idea. was they, had, uh, they set it up where it would play a random episodes of specific TV series. Yeah. Imagine if you get the last episode mm. of the new season of uh, <laughs> the Umbrella Academy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of like comedy, like The Office, like where people they put it in or put it on for background noises and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna put random episode of fucking The Office. Oh, who the fuck but is I mean, this bitch? You, I don't I, remember I, her. But when I watch like a, a comedy show on like Netflix, or something, I'm I'm watching the, the the story being told. I don't I don't randomly go, huh? Let's put this episode on. I like the pivot episode with friends. <laughs> That's for Kennedy. He's Can you name another episode? No, listen. Uh, on Friends? No. Like, okay. I never watched that show. <laughs> Just say oh. the duck episode. There's always a duck in their apartment. Oh, there yeah. duck in the episodes on Friends? Yeah, There's a duck, so. and then one of them has a twin sister who's a porn star. What? Like, I remember that. Yeah. Really? Porn star. Was, was it a Phoebe, right? Phoebe had a porn, she a porn star. Sister? I don't know. I knew she no, had she a twin. Had a, she, the twin sister was a porn star because they thought she was a oh. porn star. And then they saw it, and she's like, no, that's my twin sister. And they're like, huh? You got a twin sister? Like, oh, stupid. Okay. I don't know how that show went on for that long, and they paid them that much money. I don't know, man. I remember, like, watching some episodes, and they were pretty funny. But then it's like, it's like anything else. After about four seasons, it just drags out. Then, like, the whole thing with, like, it's kind of like The Office. Once, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jim Michael. and Pam, like, actually get together. Then it's like, oh, well, the fucking chase is over. This, like, the, her sister, that. Her sister Ursula was the porn star. Yeah, so like, like the same thing. Like when the two ended up hooking up on Friends, well, that was just like well, mm-hmm. uh, it's well, it's kind of like uh, if you've ever watched Superstore. Like the main lead in that show is going to leave, and it just it really kills the show. Like why the, the Office didn't didn't survive with Michael Scott gone? No, why, I really why like him. And they, why, why is that guy leaving the show? Uh, she's uh she's working oh. on another show. 
Oh, I thought it was yeah, transferred guy. to a different, a different. Yeah, they, no, yeah, they tra- in the story they transfer her to California <laughs> oh. to be a part with corporate, <laughs> and she's going to work. Yeah, she's getting a new, sh- a new show, and I'm like, that, that's fucking the show's dead. Like, well, wasn't the premise the of the character. show like uh, a, a two people that were like trying to get like they were like Jim and Pam, and like the first season was them trying to get together, and they like, it's now around. Together. Yeah, now they're dating, and she, he's raising her kid, and yeah. While she's in California? Well, no, he moved with her. Oh, so they wrote so him they, on so the they show took, too. So they took two main characters and just shoved them out the door. <laughs> oh, my God. Did he get a crazy. job on that, that new show? Yeah. Uh, no, you better no, take me with you. Did. Yeah, you're right. He pretty, she pretty much killed that, her, his, that character. Going, hey, why don't you just him. leave her? And yeah. you're done. Yeah, he should, they should, yeah, he should have just left her. <sighs> I really hope that dude's getting work somewhere else because I remember him on Mad Men. Like, fuck. That sucks. <laughs> All right, to continue on with this, uh, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, and apparently in an interview recently, was talking about would he be returning for the Matrix 4 movie, and uh, he said he will not be, because the character is actually killed off in the video game on the Matrix There's four, four Matrix? There will be four. There, will, there was three? Matrix. <laughs> there was three Matrix. Yo, get the fuck off the show. Yes, All right. get off the show. Get I'm sorry. We were having a whole conversation about it last week. Were you there with Dude, well, all t- those, ma- you know, all those Matrix movies have like, I've seen the first one, like maybe twice. I saw it at the theater the first time. I think I told you guys that story. No, the I was watching one, it at the theater. I know what you're saying. The first one really stands out. It's just the next two, you could like. I don't even you remember You could grab how. a scene and go, which movie is this from? And be like, uh oh. Really? Okay. I when I watched the first one, uh, we thought it was part of the movie. Like the film started melting and we we're like, whoa, this is a crazy effect. And then like, then we we're just waiting, like hanging out in the theater and then the lights come on and the guy's like, sorry, the film melted. So we had to get like passes and I don't think I ever went back to see it. You've never actually officially seen all of Matrix, the first one? I may have. Maybe that'll be the one. Maybe that'll be the movie I try to watch. I don't, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kennedy would have me by, by okay. the throat right now. <laughs> nah, that's fucking weird. You're on a fucking fracking news show. You're in your 40s and you've never seen all three. Like, he's never even finished the first one, is what he's saying. I don't know if I've seen and the first te- one. And te- and technically, like, he's that right. and Gremlins, four, he's almost done with because they're not really finished. People who listen to the show are like, get class off the fucking show. He's not they even don't want I'm probably most hated on here. <laughs> All right, let's talk comic books. Toys. That loud fucking kid from the Bronx actually knows some of the <laughs> now, shit. Now, since, since actually... <laughs> now, do you realize when you didn't show up the one day and it was just class? Now, it's just like, mm. <laughs> we just won't do the show because you I, like, what would I have to well. chime in with? No, that's funny. It would, no, just, it would just be keep, like, hey, have you seen this? Nope. Okay. I keep saying, he, he's kind of right. There are technically four Matrix movies because the other one's the Animatrix. So. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, by Kennedy's definition, he would say that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's kind of true, but he says that's all canon. Him. What happens in that? Yeah, did, so they killed him in the game. When the, the what game? game yes. In the the Matrix Online, he gets killed. Wow, that sucks. That I, I didn't. I don't remember anyone talking about this. And uh, who played the fucking uh, game except for Kennedy? <laughs> that is true. I think I played maybe twenty minutes of the one that came out on PlayStation Two. So yeah. <sighs> And I like Matrix Part One and Two. Part Three, I was just like, "What the fuck is this?" And I said, "I even said it while I was watching the third one. I said, watch them say machines and human have to coexist because the old man tells Neo, you know, it's funny. We can't live without them. They can't live without us." Hey, Joshua, mm, uh, like, spoiler alert! Come on, man. <laughs> You're not gonna watch it. You're good. You're good. No if you can't watch Gremlins Part One, you really think you're gonna sit through Matrix Two and Three? Uh, I just, I'm just talking I just, shit. I just saved you a lifetime. He, Gremlins of is like misery. 30 years old. You 30 years old. You had the chance to watch it. I saw Total Recall, the original one, like five times. That movie was cool. Why All right, five good. times? <laughs> like, you could have done four <laughs> times and watched Gremlins. Maybe not. You could have done I four could've... times and watched Gremlins. And Goonies. And Matrix. You could have watched and Goonies, right now, yeah. Yeah, two times and then finished the Matrix. But no, yeah, you yeah. said, I need to know why he's going to Mars and see the Again. Movie, bitch <laughs> is why you went with that. So it's like I saw 15 boobs. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They add up quickly. Math. Hey, <laughs> Actually, you see, boob in the middle. Did you see uh, Sharon Stone's boobs in that movie too? No. 
I thought she no, you just see her like no, she's just all like hot and sweaty from uh, okay. like working like work, out or something, and they fight. Uh, yeah. yeah, Michael oh, yeah. Ironside is banging her out. Well, Zack yeah. Snyder's working on a new movie. It's a zombie movie called Army of the Dead, and apparently they are <laughs> shooting uh, reshoots for it because uh, Chris Delia, who's uh, been accused of sexual misconduct, is now. Which the funny thing is, is like. They just went, we're going to go complete opposite and go with a lesbian comedian instead of Chris. I, mean, I think they both like women, this? so Tig Notaro is going to be taking over his place. I just want to know that I, I, I literally cannot wait to see how bad this movie becomes because when you reshoot and have to substitute with green screen, it looks really fu- like, I want to say uh, Arrested Development bad. Because oh. you could clearly like that, tell. Like that, that final <laughs> season kind of thing? Yes. Like, like you can... Leia in the last Star Wars movie? It's like, <laughs> like, what? And then, and then the best part is like when I read this, I was like, so you mean to fucking tell me instead of going, let's try to get another comedian that looks like him or an, a known, an unknown actor. We don't give a fuck. They're like, nah, let's no. go with a lesbian uh, comedian. Like, you know. Just, I mean, yeah, there's like, no problem with Tig Notaro, she's she's very funny. Like, but she's go- like they went the opposite direction. Like, even I've wide, seen this wide shots, up. they're gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna have to edit her out. Don't forget now. Remember, this is what everybody's uh, super excited about the Justice League reshoot um, because the Snyder cut. This is the same man that in Batman versus Superman had LexCorp already go in their advertisement group and create logos for all those metahumans that they show towards the end of the movie. This is Zack Snyder. This is the genius. People are so excited to see the Snyder cut of Justice League. All right, you're a hater. Anyway. They made uh, fucking <laughs> logos of these All metahumans. Right, let's, 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 like, let's, like let's, we let's, found let's, these people. Marketing. Let's get let's get merchandising on this. Let's create a flash logo. It was, it let's was create a encrypted, Wonder Woman logo. It was an encrypted file. Nobody and they else had it fucking him, so. logos. So what? Nobody that made no it. sense. Nobody hey man, cares. it's like Spaceballs, man. Spaceballs, the T-shirt, the flamethrower, yeah. merchandising. I've seen that movie. Yes, that's let's talk some Spaceballs. Yes, I'm surrounded <laughs> by assholes. I just can't wait to see this shit because it's gonna look so out of place. Keep unless, firing, assholes. Unless, I, also, hold on. Unless that character dies within the first thirty minutes of the movie, that's the only way. Well, then if he dies early, they could have easily just removed him, right? Uh, yeah, they could have did that, but I guess the, the allegations are so bad they'd rather just reshoot. I mean, because I've heard of movie, that. they just kept that guy in there. Yeah, but he was only in it for like five seconds. Are they still in? And like, it, but 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 that's the thing, though. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, no one cared. Yeah. The movie flopped, yeah. and like you know, I heard like one actress was like uh, she had a bad experience shooting like a female west western, and like the the director hated her so much that he wrote her off the movie. And she's like, the motherfucker just had me go up to a fucking canyon and die. Like, they didn't even shoot it. They just did a body double. Ah, I fucking hated that. And I was like, they could have did that with him. Like, like, you know, I can't the, wait to see uh, this shit. I'm alive. The movie sounds intense. Uh, it follows the aftermath of a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas and a group of mercenaries who venture into a quarantine zone to pull off the biggest heist. Because you know what? What's not worth more than like actual supplies during a zombie apocalypse is money in a casino. So think Ocean's Eleven with zombies. Okay, but you don't know the whole plot. Even though I agree with you, I was like, why the fuck are they going after money? Maybe that one section of Las Vegas is like zombie filled and the rest of America is fine. Maybe that's what happens. But I agree with you. When I read the premise, I was like, this is the dumbest thing I ever heard. And only if, if, if that place is zombie filled every, everywhere else in America is fine, then when they just go nuke that location, not nuke it, but you could bomb the fuck. Okay, oh. nuke it. Not nuke but, it. Nuke like, it's, bad. This, it's bad. What's to say, uh, fucking zombie survive? Maybe they're special kind of zombies. Uh, Chris DeLeo was accused of sexually harassing underage girls on social media. And That's Jesus. how you say his name? I don't know how you say it. DeLeo. DeLeo. <laughs> He's on. He was on Joe. Is that Rogan how you say his name? That. That's how they say it. <laughs> you had no problem. Was, no problem with fucking logos and Batman versus Superman. All right. I don't. But see, you, you fucking nitpicking. Fuck you. 
You always do this. And I'm just like, dude. I mean, when I saw that scene, that scene and the Martha scene, both, I just go. Let it, let it go. That makes no fucking sense. And no, wait. And, and when the flash shows up and he's just like, I think I'm too early. I'm like, yeah, you're in a wrong fucking movie, buddy. Like, you're not even supposed to be here for God's sakes. How? How do you know that? Like, how do you know that? Well, because he just shows up and he's like, oh, you know, he, they're like, oh, it's a dream or something. But he's like, I think, I think fucking, I'm too early, nitpicky. you know. In a picky, in a picky. Watch it all make sense with the Snyder cut. You can be oh, like, oh, yeah, shit. okay. Because that, that means he did a bad job as a director for putting so much bullshit in there to all tie it. Now, I can see if it's a TV series you do that, but not with a fucking movie. You have to sell everything on that movie and everything has to have a point. It has to be completed by the end of that movie. Motherfucker. Anyway. All right, so let's Doc. do a little nerds of the round table here. I've got a quick question for you all. Not quick question. Well, quick question, but maybe a, uh, a uh, good Where's discussion. Kennedy? I all want right. Kennedy back. <laughs> <laughs> Sight unseen. You have to go see a movie from one of these directors. Who are you going to see? Or, uh, as we were discussing, a Zack Snyder movie. Now, you don't know what movie it is. You just know it's a Zack Snyder movie. A Michael Bay movie. Or a Roland Emmerich movie. We'll start with class. Class. Which one of these? Who's Roland movies? Emmerich. He's, He's the one like, that makes all the natural disaster like movies. Independence Day and stuff like. Oh that. yeah, Independence Day was the shit. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> So I'm hated on for like not watching movies, and I'm like, oh, I liked Independence no, Day. Like, and- Roland, Roland Emmerich is like the worst of the three, and they're all they're both all three of them are just horrible. Directors. Michael Bay is like, what's he do? No, I would say Michael Bay. Explosion. He does Transformers, right? He does Transformers. The first Transformers was really cool, man. The rest of them, I I didn't really care for. Them. Yeah, you can tell this dude doesn't watch movies. <laughs> Were they good? <laughs> no. <laughs> Two, the two was the so only horrible. Yeah, the I first one was all right. It was cool. The first one I saw. Why they bring Mark Wahlberg and they just like, no, ma'am, no. The first one I saw, it was all right. It was a lot of Shia LaBeouf like running around screaming, Optimus, no! Like that was the whole thing. Him just screaming, screaming, but, screaming. Well, he's, he's yelling but, at a big robot. He had to hear him. Yeah, right? you got to scream. He's little. He's little, and they're big. That makes sense. All right, never. Joshua, mind. who are you? But, uh, side on. I'll go with the Transformers guy. There, there. Yeah, yeah. Are, take it back. I would. I would go Michael Bay because, like, uh, aside from fucking two movies Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder did, I really don't like much of his catalog. Like, I ain't trying to see most of the What are your two Zack Snyder movies that you like? Um, 300 and uh, Batman. Oh. Like, the, the comic book movies he's done. Really, just you, the comic book you movies. You don't like done. his. Well, I mean, but you like The Watchmen, then, right? Yeah, I don't oh, have a problem with The Watchmen. Shit. Did you like Day of the I changed uh, my answer. Dawn of the Dead? I I went to see it. I didn't have a problem with it, but I'm not a big zo- like I don't zombie films don't really do much for me. But I'm not gonna say oh Dawn of the Dead sucked. It was a fun movie, like you know. I know. Like I'm being on. I, I'm not, like I can't say that like oh Dawn of the Dead sucked. Now if you ask me, do you? I saw Sucker Punch one time, and I'm like oh I have God, no. Need. That's horrible. I I have no need to see that movie. Did I hate it? No. But would I go see it again? If somebody say let's watch Sucker Punch, I'm like I'll talk to you later. Like. <laughs> Unless I'm getting pussy, you know? Like, I'm not watching that movie. <laughs> so, um, shit. Like, I won't watch that Netflix movie. I have no interest in seeing that movie. <laughs> the Michael Bay <laughs> one? No, the one he's doing on Netflix. Like, when I heard about this movie, I was like... I'm oh, the, the, that's the one we're talking about right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not... <laughs> so I would go Michael Bay because I've enjoyed a plethora of fucking Michael Bay movies. Which Michael Bay movies have you enjoyed? The Rock... That's a good movie. Um, I like Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay. Um, what's yeah, that other one? The Bad Boys movies are good. I can always watch those. Armageddon. That's a classic. <laughs> Wait, you all laughed at me for Independence Day, but like Armageddon, you think that was better than Arma- than, than Independence I, Day? I, I had this argument with him. He's like, how do you like that movie? I was like, bro, that was an awesome movie. Like, it's like, it wasn't like, bad, but it was like compared to like Independence Day was way cooler than Armageddon, man. Who the hell way cooler than with? Armageddon? Doc, what was the argument we had? Like Armageddon, I said Ar- Armageddon made more money than a certain movie. You're like, no, it did it. And I was like, I feel like that was an argument uh, I had with you. I think wasn't that like at a uh, concave or something like that? We had that discussion about Armageddon. Yeah. 
Ooh, I forgot what it was up against. I don't remember. Or did it, somebody said it was bad? I was like, this movie made X amount of money. I like, no, we had yeah. oh, we had a discussion at Concave, but it wasn't on the air. It was at uh, we were at Crystals having this discussion, and I I am the Armageddon bad Kennedy because he hates when we talk about him, but that's his fault because he's never on the air because we'd still talk about him <laughs> when he was on the air. Um, he loves that movie, and you, Joshua, felt like it did uh, it did really well. Yeah, and it did so. <laughs> doing really well and like being a good movie i mean that, that's well there you go that's like, transformers what? transformers did really well but it is not a good movie yeah the first, first one was one. fun the it was silly kind of, the second one pissed me off with the jamaican rastafarian cars i was like what the Dude, fuck is this about? <laughs> right off the bat like i remember trying to watch the second one and didn't it have something like one of the or was it on the first one that like one of the Transformers had like nuts or something. Like he had balls hanging down or like yeah. the second one. Was, yeah, and that's I remember getting to that point and I was like God, wasn't it? I, yeah, and then yeah, the two like Jamaican like Transformers and I was just like well, don't forget like jazz was like super like urban. <laughs> urban. Yeah, but that yeah. jazz, like in the cartoon he was pretty like <laughs> <laughs> you could tell it was like I mean you could tell that was a it was, that was a black dude. That, that dude had like he was, jive. He was he was breaking but, like, dancing, right? Yeah, he yeah. Was a yeah. <laughs> I think I, I went to see what it is. Was a and when the roster the Rastafarians came out and as I because the, the they area were ice cream trucks, right? Or something like no, I think they were like Vespas or something. Oh maybe this. And a black guy have, like the Italian stereotype with like the little tiny transformer. Yeah. But when the black the, the Rastafari <laughs> ones made their appearance in the movie, a black guy's like, yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> And I just like drunk off my ass, going, "Yo, this is fucked." Oh, oh man, yeah, <laughs> right. I didn't finish watching. Yeah, I don't see it now. I'm having an issue. Is like, is all three are horrible. Be right I like back. Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. Bye, Joshua. It was good working with you. And 300, and even Watchmen, I enjoyed. But the Watchmen was cool, man. Watchmen was cool. Was 300 was cool. Was I, oh, I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, yeah, his D is. Like Superman and all that, I felt like crap. See, Superman wasn't bad. I enjoyed Superman. I could watch Superman again. Man of Steel, yeah. I was, I was into. There were yeah. stupid parts. The Jonathan Kent thing that was dumb. <laughs> no, but like, no, you what, what, stay there. Don't save me. <laughs> we don't want them to know who you are, dude. I can get you in back, and they won't even notice it. No, you stay yeah. there. You know okay, what, Dad? I, I could have walked to you now by the time this is taken for you to tell me <laughs> no, not to stay there. I, Again, I, next I, Zack Snyder movie there. See, but here's the thing, though. You see, he's like, yo, I don't want you to know, blah, blah, blah. You're feeling right? He You're green on your shot there. You know, color uh, don't worry. He's don't the worry. green eyed bebop. Don't worry. He is the green eyed bebop. Don't worry about that. That's just my, my TV. Anyway, um, but the part that irks me the most is that Lois Lane, investigative reporter, was able to figure out who the fuck he was. In a matter of like what, twenty minutes? Well, she was a like, Pulitzer surprise or Pulitzer uh, Prize uh, journalist, so she knows her shit. Yeah, no, she sucks. Anyway, uh, but and that also was one, like in, in Batman. Was it Batman versus Superman? Yeah, you see how quick she moved when she had to get that spear of destiny or whatever the fuck it was called. Like she got there in like no time. Like Superman was taking a hard time getting there. Suspension of disbelief, right? Oh, it no. was suspended. Because anytime I see somebody get to <laughs> one point to another point, like way quicker than uh, they, we we call it the Lois Lane syndrome. Yeah, you, you you're just the worst. Like, <laughs> you're the worst. And I can't wait to go see a movie with you so I can just see you fucking grumble and. Blah. It all depends on the movie. Like, I mean, if we go see like a good movie, then I don't know. All right, guys, uh, to continue on and. I guess I'll go with fuck. I can't even. I can't even answer that. Can't even. Go ahead. Come I on. Because Michael it. Bay, I enjoyed The Rock. There's a couple Michael Bay movies. Ronald Emmerich. No, they've all been horrible. I'll go with Zack Snyder just because there's more movies that I enjoyed, but there's more movies I hate of his too. I'll move on. How is there more and more? Like, how can you like? So I like more three movies. I've already said and you walked away. Three hundred. Watchmen and Dawn of the Dead. Okay. Now let's start removing one. We've got uh, Batman versus Superman. We've got uh, Sucker Punch. And we have Justice <laughs> I know what you were doing once I saw the three fingers up your pocket. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. So, let's do this. Now, your directors, you have three directors to pick from. 
Um, sight unseen, you don't know what the movie's going to be. You have Quentin Tarantino, Edgar Wright, yes. or Steven Spielberg. Ooh. We'll start out with Class. Class, what do these directors, sight unseen, because you know, like Steven, he's, there's some movies that are not that good with him. Right. Edgar Wright. Honestly, I've only seen two of his movies that I know of, and one's my favorite movie, like Scott Pilgrim. One of my favorite movies, but Pulp Fiction for ages have been my favorite movies, or have been one of my favorite movies. Ah, so it's like, do you want that fun, quick, witty kind of like action, as well as like that cool like cinematography, more than likely, like with with uh, Edgar Wright, or do you want like that badass dialogue and like maybe like twenty minutes of like something cool in action with Quentin Tarantino? And 30 minutes of talking. And you're like an hour and a half of talking, but the and, talking keeps you captivated and, for and the and most part. 20 minutes of somebody staring at a toe or something like that. Yeah, that's okay. That was better than, I mean, it was Bridget Fonda's feet, man. Like, I don't get into feet, but like, <laughs> Bridget Fonda, man, that's a good looking girl. Um, I would go, I'd probably go Edgar Wright, like now. Okay. Joshua. Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright. All right. Yeah, because I, I, Baby Driver, like, I, I love that mm, movie. That was the an fucking amazing, amazing, movie. amazing movie. And uh, he, he just knows, like, he just knows how to captivate his audience. Yeah. So you're, you're in, there hasn't been a miss with Edgar Wright in my book. So, no, I Scott Pilgrim. Um, like, the only problem I have with Tarantino is, uh, and I know class will give me shit about it, is Jackie Brown. I don't feel like it's a, oh. it's a very strong movie at all compared to the rest of his lineup of films. Compared to like uh, Hateful Eight? Really? Well, compared hate- to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah, I feel those are much more entertaining than... No, Jackie no, no. Oh, no way. Okay. No way. It's, I, it's, like- I, think after, I think after Jackie Brown, he kind of started descending. I loved his movies. I loved that... Uh, um, Didn't you get Kill Bill I- after Jackie Brown? Maybe I like uh, Kill Bill better than I did, or I like Jackie Brown better than I did Kill Bill. Yeah, I think those came out after Jackie Brown. Yeah. Okay. Um, I liked Kill Bill was amazing because I love Bruce Lee movies and like that. Obviously, like that. I felt, I felt of, like, like the first punk- volume of Kill Bill was way better than the second one. One hundred percent, I agree. One hundred percent. I'm trying to figure out though, like um, most of his movies are like you know homages to like certain types of cinema. And I got mm-hmm. that from um, Hollywood Story, or What's Up on the Time in Hollywood. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what what was the homage to Jackie Brown. Like, could we, one of you guys help me with that? Or yeah, no? it's 70s. Uh... Like, like maybe a black black exploitation yeah, type black of black exploitation film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because there was Foxy Brown. That's what what Pam Greer was part. Yeah. You see, now we're talking movies that I've seen. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's like you had Foxy Brown that was part of it from back in like the 70s and all that, and that was Pam Greer. And now she kind of reprises this role. It's Jackie Brown, a totally different character, but that same type of thing, the drug, uh, you know, the drug guy and, and uh, the drug lord, and the whole thing with Max Cherry, like, oh, an amazing movie, man. Robert De Niro is good. Bridget Fonda, like I said, unbelievable. Samuel Jackson was, plays it in everything. Max Cherry like, just died last year. Uh, Tarantino does a great job with dialogue, but it's hit or miss with certain people. Yeah. Because, like, Hateful Eight, there's parts of that movie where I don't give a fuck, but then there's parts where I, I'm enjoying myself. But you, but like, Walt Groggins you watch is the star of that movie. Knowing it's a play, you understand the direction of yeah. how that movie is. Oh, yeah, but really? I didn't know that. It's actually and, written as a play. Makes a yeah, lot more sense. Then. All the scene is all in that cabin. All in that room. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, you, you can make the same thing with uh, Inglorious Bastards. Like, you, you, you can make that into a play. Like, you understand? Like that dialogue is really, with the exception of maybe one or two action scenes, that's really a fucking, a fucking play. Okay. So I think the dialogue, he he he's such a master of words, but then again, it's hit or miss. Like you know, like I could watch Inglorious Bastards from beginning to end, no problem. But Hateful Eight, there's some parts where I'm just like, I don't care about this. Well, but there's parts where I commit like three and a half hours to watch Hateful Eight. That's that's a very long movie. That's yeah. four episodes on Netflix, anyway. <laughs> That's but, Goonies uh, and Ghostbusters or whatever the fuck you want me to watch. All right. Now I need you all to name me one actor that you just simply hate and cannot watch in a film. Julia Will Roberts. Smith. What? Will Julia Smith. Roberts. Julia Roberts. Okay. <laughs> Joshua. Will Smith. Will Smith. 
All right. Now you have to go see a movie directed by Edgar Wright starring Joshua. Well, sir, what's up? Are you going to go see that movie? It'd be good. Probably. It'd be real good. What about Julia Roberts? By Edgar Wright? <laughs> no. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I just, I hate her face, man. I hate, I hate her so much. Mine would be Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. I'm fucking done with Reese this, Witherspoon? Yeah. yeah. What's your hatred with her? I don't know. She seems annoying. Annoying? Yeah. I think Julia Roberts seems like a uppity bitch. <laughs> Are you dying? Maybe not. She might be no. like a... <laughs> I don't know. I've always hated her. I just her face. She seems so <laughs> smug and just so like fucking... Uh, just can't stand her. <laughs> I felt the same about Gwyneth Paltrow before she became Pepper Potts. And I'm like... All right, she's all right. But then I start hearing all these things where she didn't even know what movie she's in. I'm like, oh yeah, she she was like, yeah, back to her being like, she's a bitch too, man. Yeah, her. she's she's, she's <laughs> clueless. Uh, rumors are coming out now with uh, Sony Pictures as they work to continue uh, expanding their Spider Verse universe. That uh, Olivia Wilde, who's uh, become a uh, hot commodity, commodity, what commodity, commodity mm-hmm. in the uh, director realm, maybe picking the one a, movie un- wasn't even that funny. Well, she had uh, well, she had Booksmart, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Correct. Um, but she, uh, well, I mean, that's the thing is, is you you notice that there's a number of different, like the the director for the Birds of Prey movie, which is really should have been called Harley Quinn. Um, <laughs> that 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 director had like one movie. Like it doesn't. It just takes. Plus, she's a, she's she's got some name recognition behind it she is supposed to be taking over a um untitled female centered uh movie it's sony marvel movie where it is is the they're thinking it might be spider woman now do you feel like it's gonna be uh what's her name jessica jones not jones jesus christ uh, not walters that's she hulk that's uh, um, uh, uh jessica drew that's it because Gwen Stacy and also uh, Mary Jane Watson have also been. Well, weren't they trying to make a, a Black Cat movie or in a Silver Sa- uh, Oh Silver yeah, they, 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 there was yeah with them both together, and then there was a there's talk it, of a Silk movie too. So wouldn't it be one of those? Why can't you do Spider Woman? I mean, we literally heard the rumors about all these movies. And they never said anything about a Spider Woman movie. They said stuff about Silk, yep. Silver Sable, so and the uh, Black Cat. So why why would we throw in unless somebody trying to maybe she wants to she likes the idea of Spider Woman and wants to push it and create it. She was kind of a villain for a while, wasn't she? Oh, I don't know. It was Silver Sable? Spider Woman. Silver Sable was. Yeah. I just found out fucking uh, Electro has, is a female now in the comic books. So. Really? Electro has always been a female. Electro. electro. Oh, electro. electro. No, okay. I'm sorry. I said electro. I like, <laughs> yeah, what? I found I found this out on Marvel Strike. But yeah. Well, really? Apparently, is it Clint Marco or no? That Clint Marco Sandman, right? Yes. So Mark something. What's what's uh, Electro's name? I don't know. Dylan something. Dylan Mark Mark, Mark Dylan whatever. Um, he. Like right before he died, he gave the powers to a female, and she's now the new Electro, which is hilarious. I found out. Th- I found that out because Marvel Strike Force introduced. Okay, Maxwell, <laughs> Maxwell like Dunn. Passed it on to Francine Fry. Yes. After I found this out. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Volume Four, Number Seventeen, in October of 2016. I found this out because they introduced a female Electro, and everybody was like, "What the fuck?" And I had to do the research. Now she called Electro. Or she called Electra. Uh, Electro, because they can't call it Electra because it'd be uh, confusing. Interesting. I did not know that. Me neither. I might see if I have that comment. Well, as we continue on, Joshua's uh, favorite actor, Will Smith, is going to be working with Kevin Hart in a remake, which I never understand why they they do this, where they take. Uh, well-known shows and movies and give it a certain tint to it. Uh, playing strains of <laughs> Jesus. Is uh, where are we going we're with this? We're canceled. I thought, no wonder you laughed at that hard, hard joke. Whoa. 
No, you had wow. the you had the honeymooners that they did this with. I'm trying to think what else. They're supposed to do the Brady Bunch with LL Cool J, but that just didn't. They was like, fuck that. <laughs> no, I don't think anything. And I a true story. Um, Ride Along was supposed to be The Rock and um Ryan Reynolds. Really? Like, yeah. Originally, they wanted to do it with Ben Affleck and someone else, and then it was Ryan Reynolds and The Rock. And then they shelved it. And then they were just like, oh, rewrite it. And they added that tint to it, as Doc would say. Well, so, no, no, because Ride Along wasn't originally a, uh, it wasn't like, it wasn't a show before. No, no. It was like, you just, like, you said there was a trend where they added a tint to it. Yeah, it was like the most like, subtle. You know, the honeymooners, <laughs> they went ahead and made it a black cast. Um, I mean, this was a, the that, most that was subtle, blatant, like, racist. <laughs> He's right uh, though because and do they do that? Like I've no, no, no there was claim that they whitewash movies in this kind of the re, like a black washing mm. a movie, like taking it going. Well, they did it with uh, oh um shit the the one about the 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 death of the funeral or something like that. Yeah, death in the family. Uh, death a death of the death family, at a funeral, yeah, which was yeah, a yeah, definitely. British thing that had uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones on there who reprises the role. And then they did the American that version. Gay lover of the yes. father, the dead father. <laughs> Little uh, yeah, no, that, that was like a trend. Like it was a good chunk of time where they were just like, oh, we're gonna redo these mo- these shows and movies, but we're gonna put them as black characters. And, but like no one complained, no one cared. About, but those movies didn't do that well. So no, yeah, they didn't. No, they they didn't do very well. But they just, I mean, you gotta think. It, really it's not hurting anybody i mean if you like planes trains and automobiles guess what it's still there and class probably still hasn't watched it yet so i mean i have i love I'm that not, movie i've never seen with that john movie. candy and uh and steve martin that is correct what's the premise of that movie yeah it's about two guys traveling to chicago for thanksgiving and uh, they're having a hard time getting the the flight gets canceled or something like that so they have to travel cross country to try to get there Sounds like and when they, I do they're it, both, Kentucky. <laughs> they're both complete opposites and not doing well. That and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels are two amazing, like, Steve Martin movies from, like, the 80s that I think are very kind of maybe, un, I don't know, but Plain Trains and Automobiles, I think that gets its praise. I don't think uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels gets praise that it should. Like, everyone talks about The Jerk and, like, all these other, like, What's movies the, like that with Steve Martin. But the Three Amigos, too. Shit. Three Amigos. Three Amigos was the shit. What's the one where he's the mafioso guy with Rick Moranis? That Rick Moranis is like he's like supposed to protect them, and he just keeps fucking breaking the law. Is it like blue something or something like that? Is it my blue heaven or something like that? Yeah, it is. Oh, is that it? I haven't seen that. that. I I never saw it from beginning to end, but the clips I've seen always fucking have me die because he's like Rick Moranis is like, yo, don't do this. I'm telling you, don't. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. And he just like breaks the law. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I literally fucking die at that part, man. It shows me. Like, Steve Martin is, like, one of the greatest comedic actors of all time. Yeah. Oh, dude. And, and Rick Moranis is as well. Like, I absolutely love me some Rick Moranis, man. Oh, is it also... Like, uh, fucking... Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Spaceballs. Sergeant, Sergeant Bilko. Like, I know people don't talk about that, but that's fucking hilarious, too. I haven't seen that. Uh, let's see. Oh, technical what? difficulties. Yeah, really... Pink Panther was the last really kind of thing. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. But yes, uh, they are working on that. With What the- happened? Class went out? No, I'm here. Can you hear me? You quietly listen. Oh, yeah. We just have a- I'm here. Uh, just- yeah, so, uh, Will Smith and uh, Kevin Hart, because uh, there's not enough movies for Kevin Hart or The Rock to be in. So, we're some more. <laughs> Like the Rock a- doesn't like turn down any script at all, does he? They're like, "Hey, Rock, do you I know. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Just signs. It's he's in he's, everything. You know what it is? It's like I swear to God, him and Kevin Hart are trying to be the hardest working men in fucking Hollywood. And I shit you not, I told people I worked with, I said, "Give it like another year or two, you're gonna hear, oh, he's going to rehab for exhaustion." Because he just, that man never fucking stops. Yeah. He'll be on Instagram at like four o'clock in the morning. Like, I've been working out all day. I got to do this movie. And I think the pandemic should have been God's way of telling him, take a break. He's still not taking a fucking break. He's like doing all these deals and shit. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It is. (laughs) <laughs> as, uh, as we've constantly been talking about the uh, the writing on the wall, I think it becomes official next week with the uh, the the DC uh, what is their uh, little thing called? 
universe. Fan, fandom, fandom. Yeah, fandom. Uh, that uh, all the original content that is on DC Universe, which includes Titan, Swamp Thing, Stargirl, and Justice League, among right now, which is also has Doom Patrol and Harley Quinn, are all moving to HBO Max. Mm. So uh, very. That's sp- good. More likely, DC Universe will just be a comic book reader. I still think they'll have like like old movies and shit like that on there. Why? You might as well just move. It all on HBO Max. Not necessarily because I don't. I don't think HBO Max will like have it. Coll- like you know, like just have like this. I'm trying to find the right word, but they don't want like that fucking excess of stuff there, and like you know, people just like get distracted by it and stuff like that. I think like they should have like certain aspects they, of it. They, they, they don't specifically. They need to keep down on all the content that they're putting up there because people may get distracted all the stuff they can watch. I mean, I mean, look at Netflix. Netflix at, at some point, Netflix is going to put out so much content that some of the movies, like you, you're going to be like, yeah, we don't want anything else because everything's Netflix based, you know. So HBO is probably like, yeah, we want to like keep it like that. I feel like DC could still be good if they just let like old fucking episodes of Smallville and stuff like that stay on DC Universe. Yeah, because that's when people were rushing to DC Universes to watch Smallville. No, that's the thing, though. Nobody was, but even I was like, holy shit, I should have been on this fucking earlier because of all the stuff they had on there. Like, that was that blew Marvel Unlimited out the water, bro. They had all that stuff, the community uh, chat, the fucking shows telling you what to read and stuff like that. Marvel Unlimited ain't doing that shit. No, they're like, not. They do. So, now I mean, that they cut down on all the DC staff, too, you think those people are going to be. No, because like they like half they the cut, people working. They cut that weekly show, and like the guy was like, "I don't know why they did this." We, I was like, "Holy shit, this weekly show is really fucking good." And they were telling people, "Hey, you know, this is the 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 fucking thing, but go out and buy these issues. Go and buy this issue." And I was like, "Fuck, why would they get rid of that? That that was making them money. Mm-hmm. Like, because wouldn't you want to sign on to that and be like, "Yo, check out the weekly update. Hey guys, check out this read on the app, but also go to the comic book store and buy this." Like, yeah. why would you get rid of that? That's true. That's true. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. There's always those awkward <laughs> On November 17th, 1978, Joshua wasn't even in existence. I was swimming um, in my dad's balls. <laughs> was, when were you born? 84. Yeah, no, Jesus. you weren't in his balls yet. Good Lord. I was uh, swimming in his balls. I was, you know how I was much sperm him. gets reproduced and created and ex Bloated out. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch that episode of fucking King of the Hill. <laughs> well, the Star Wars holiday special was released, and mm. instantly Lucas pulled it off the air, and <laughs> so so bad. But now, because I guess people constantly talking about it, being on YouTube and everything else, that now the Lego Star Wars holiday special will be on Disney <laughs> Plus. It's gonna reunite Ray, Finn, Poe, Chewie, Rose, because. Ugh. And all your favorite droids from R2-D2 to BB-8 for a joyous feast on Life Day. Is John Boyega going to come and do this? Uh, well, they say Finn, but they'll probably get somebody. I think he's done, isn't he? Yeah, like, I think like they don't want that guy anywhere near anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they'll probably have somebody voice his uh, accent on the, <laughs> on the movie. A horrible American accent. <laughs> Uh, it'll be set after Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, so if you were wondering if Rose died, apparently uh, she's still alive. I heard there, um, speaking of Star Wars stuff, um, we're getting a spinoff for Kylo Ren. Is this like a comic book or a movie series or something? No. I don't know. <laughs> Doc, just groaning. What happened, Doc? <laughs> Doc, tell me what happened. What, what did Disney do now to ruin your favorite franchises? No, they're not doing anything like that. That There's no Kylo Ren movie. You get in. There was that Rise of Kylo Ren comic that was pretty good, but after like the second issue, it was like, yeah, oh, this is good. If you see an article, especially if it says, Who Got You Covered? You do not follow that as information. I, I didn't I didn't see the who published it. I just saw it in passing. So if it was like we got this discovered. The most recent one that I think you talked about and I instantly tweeted. Oh, it was um Shia LaBeouf as uh, Iceman? Oh, 
yes as Iceman, and yeah. then and the, it came from who got you covered like and i was like i was shocked ryan reynolds like they posted ryan reynolds was gonna be something and he was like no i'm not Hawkman. Hawkman. yes and i was just like they've they have they just they're like hoping that one of these rumors stick because i thought it was the the tv station in canada the news station i was like oh they're not gonna like they're gonna do their research right but it was like we got this discovered like was the the source and i was like I guess that's sad that they think that's a reputable, reputable source. You don't know. So I've got friends that constantly post about that stuff. Um, and I, like and I, I, I do a, a, a podcast and a Facebook page just to constantly provide information <laughs> that's from reputable. Well, sources. to be fair, Doc, you didn't know the you were like I can't find this article about Olivia Wilde, and I was like, here, I just found it in my five seconds. No, I couldn't find it on the Deadline uh, webpage, but now it's it's the main focus on there. Okay. So I don't know why when I went there it just hadn't popped up yet. Yeah, no, it's 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 front front and center on there. You are correct. I thought it got pulled there because I was like, well, why am I not seeing it? Maybe this is all bullshit. Yeah. Um, but what who, time is it? <laughs> um, did you guys hear about the the guy named uh, Unknown Henson who does the voice of the uh, Squid Billy? Squid Billy. <laughs> Daniel Baker. Apparently, uh really didn't like the fact that uh, Dolly Parton came out for Black Lives Matter and uh, I guess made it known on was it Twitter or something like that where uh, I saw it uh, on on it went Twitter and then he posted his rebuttal after what happened on Facebook so yeah he was uh, he said folks well this is like his rebuttal after he got fired I just want to know I didn't know Squid Bellies were still on the air <laughs> <laughs> They've ran it for 12 seasons. I can't get into that show. I never could get into that show either. Uh, it says, folks, I've been fired from my cartoon show, lost my endorsements, and my chance of ever being booked by any music venue as Unknown Henson again. I just hope you a-holes are happy you took a good man and talent down. You succeeded. I don't know about that. Proud that you ruined a person's life all because of the freak show called Dolly Parton and Black Lives Matter. Thanks a lot. I gave my best to you assholes for 30 years. I guess you love to kick someone when they are down. That's a, well, you know what? You didn't have to respond to anything. You could have just, just let it be. No, that's not how he is. He's unknown Henson. He's a squid billy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, He's like I were, wait, this guy who plays like a super redneck squid, maybe racist. I don't think he was racist. Like, I think what he said was just like, what the fuck? Like, you, you're, you're like, I think that was the countryness in him, which could be racist, I guess. But I read what he said and I was just like, yeah, I mean, it's not something you should be saying because people are going to come at you the wrong way and they got after him. So that's right. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Um, in uh, comic book news, first thing to talk about is uh, I gave some credit where credit was due, which is I always appreciate uh, Joshua. Class. <laughs> Um, suck up. Uh, but class rep uh, recommended uh, deceased uh, unkillables, which I uh, I ran through really quick. Now the comic is very good, very enjoyable. It's, it it takes uh kind of anti it take anti heroes, it takes heroes and takes villains, and they kind of group up to really protect these kids mm-hmm. um, that are trapped in Gotham in like a school, and um, it's really good, really violent. It's short, though. Really violent. Way too short. I agree. And so, like, I give him props, and lo and behold, the artist of Unkillables, uh, mm-hmm. he, uh, he, uh, he liked the tweet. He did. He, uh, he did. He gave us props. He did. I, was, I, I thought that was pretty cool. I immediately started following him afterwards, because I was like, I didn't realize that was him. But uh, I either. saw that, and I was like, yeah, like, very cool. I was like, who liked this? And I was like, oh, I'm the artist of Unkillables. I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, do the Joshua thing and put like ad or hash marks or anything like that to get them to read my tweet. I just, I just. Posted. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what that is that what you meant by that? Oh, I don't have to go the Joshua route. Do what? Yes, that's right. I, when the <laughs> fuck do I do that? All the time. I was. I when? see you at LeBron all the time when they leave. I never, no, I, I never at LeBron. You fucking liar. You I at LeBron. I, I do. I. I, <laughs> I did it I yesterday. I just go LeBron. I say that I don't have to add anybody because I don't care. So <laughs> if anything, that comic book artist vanity searched himself or something. So 
But he I, may have had it as like a probably, tag. Like anytime yeah. that pops up, he could read that tweet. I would yeah. guess. No, but you have to put the hashtag in front of it. If you there was no hashtag. Regular, yeah, oh, he, van- he vanity searched himself. There was no hashtag. Maybe he's a. Maybe we've got a new so, listener so to the show. He had the word unkillables pop up, and he saw a tweet, and he liked it. There you go. He Maybe can, we'll have him do our sketch covers because, like, whenever you tweeted that about uh, the sketch covers, we got like no no responses. No, I know. No one gave a shit. No. <laughs> no, we're trying I to figure like, out a uh, class there. Trying to like give some shit it? away. Yeah, you got one there. Do you got you got the other one? I have that one. That's a really good fucking. I, I did a secret invasion. I just did this crazy looking scroll. No, he froze. Uh, those are the only two I have right now. Those. But he is looking. I like that to, secret. To that secret invasion. One, we right? got to figure out a way to give them away. I thought of a game. I did think of a game okay. where uh, it would be like a twenty questions. I would host it somehow. I would have to figure this out. You come. I would host it, and, you just and no? I would. What's that? Nothing. Go. Go. You're fine. All right. Sorry. I, I would have to host it because I would interview, like, say, Joshua, or I would interview yourself, and we'd have to have Kennedy on. Oh, and it would be that. where yeah, I, would, I would ask you a question. We would play what I asked you. I would pause it, and then it would be either I'll give you two options. Did, did Doc say A or did Doc say B? And then they go back and forth. They would play for a listener, and whoever gets the most answers right, we could do it like that. Okay. Random questions. I don't know. I don't know what they'd be, but we'll have to get that squared away somehow. So I'll, I'll – yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's stupid. It might be, might be kind of fun. I'm going to go to the comic shop this weekend and see what kind of blank covers they have, so I'll pick up a couple. <laughs> Those are taken. I can't, I can't wait to get one so I can frame it next to my Rick and Morty uh, I need poster. to make you one. I need to make you one for your belated birthday. <laughs> and uh, in recent news with Wolverine, there's Wolverine Black, White, and Blood. The number of different artists and writers will actually be <laughs> with the character. What's that? <laughs> I still don't know what you're saying. You're giggling. Tint, tint, motherfucker, tint. What? Anywho, uh, some of the creative uh, talent working on it is uh, Chris Claremont, Salina Ahmad, Donnie Cates, mm. Kelly Thompson, uh, Kev Walker, Le- 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 Leonard Kirk, Leonard Kirk, and much, much more. So those are actually some well-known writers and artists mm-hmm. there that are going to be working on it. And if you've not played or done the beta for the Marvel's Avengers, apparently there was a leak of the number of different characters that you will be able to play. The list of uh, characters in alphabetical order that are confirmed are Ant-Man, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Falcon, Hawkeye, Hulkbuster, Kate Bishop, Marvel, Mockingbird, Quake, Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk, Vision, War Machine, Wasp, and the Winter Soldier. No oh, venom. I, uh, I don't care. Well, they oh, were venom. saying it seems like mostly MCU characters because there's no X Men in the list. There's no Guardian. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they I would. I'm not surprised. Um, uh, I mean, really. I mean, are they going to do Marvel from Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel? No, Captain Marvel. It's, It'd it's be Marvel. Captain Marvel. But are, yeah, be he's like, Marvel. What's your name? Uh, from it is Marvel. Like uh, the Jude, Jude Law? Law? Not Jude Law. It wasn't Jude Law. It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, what's her name? Oh, Annette Benning. Annette Benning. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That'd be stupid. It needs to be the dude Marvel who died from cancer. Well, in the into you, it's her. <laughs> he died from cancer. Yeah, you never heard about that? There, dude, that's one of the craziest stories, man. The death of Captain Marvel. It's it came out in the eighties. Dude, it's fucking like he was oh, absorbing man, the power. It's been a long time since I've read it, but I believe like he had that power cosmic or that's the Ghostbuster or, uh, 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 um, Silver Surfer thing. Um, but he has like that power, that Captain Marvel power. And because he was like human or whatever, like every time he'd use it or it being around all that, he was like developing cancer and like, and it killed him. And it's fucked up because he's like laying in bed, like all like emaciated and little and like all the heroes are coming in, like wishing him well. And like, you're talking like the second Marvel, right? The original Captain Marvel. I thought the original was not Shazam, like, but the the blonde guy, the blonde short hair guy. Okay. It's, I gotta uh, read this. He never this... came back. It's it's 
a fucking depressing comic. I gotta, I gotta read this cries now. and holds them. Yeah, like give me the issue so I can read it on Marvel. It's a, it's a, I think it's just a, a, a trade paperback. It's uh, the death of Captain Marvel. The original one was a Cree. Yeah. No, this is the death of Captain Marvel. Marvel. Trade pay- yeah, this is. I don't know if you could see. That, I thought, didn't he hand off? The power of the person? Let's see. I, I, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but like the death of it's. Yeah, it's fucked up. This came out in 82. That's. Uh, there's a, he adopts the identity of a, a recently deceased scientist named Walter Lawson. Yeah. But he's still a Cree. That's it. Okay. Well, maybe I'll get all the details. Else else took on the- it's a trade paperback. It's like a, a graphic novel. No, no, I know, but like I don't think Marvel Unlimited does that. I think I have to get. Oh, they don't have individual issues. That was just like a standalone story. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they individual yeah. issues. No, I gotta look uh, it up then. I'm saying that was a uh, graphic novel. They, that was in oh, an individual right. issue. It was like a standalone. Very yeah, depressing. My- very, very depressing. Oh, you're the- well, I'm on my iPad right now, Nerve so I can't watch it. Him cancer. And I guess cancer doesn't negative doesn't negative discriminate negative. against any type of race. No, <laughs> they got him. They got him, man. I remember reading that as a kid, like being like seven or eight, and be like, "Fuck, this is deep, man." Like, I don't know. Just smoking a cigarette. <laughs> no. Going out like John. Out of his like throat hole and shit. <laughs> Going out like Johnny Sacks from The Sopranos. Like I don't fucking care. Uh, yeah, now nah, you just laying in bed the whole episode. Well, whole we discussed episode. last week the uh, flying and Batman, or really gliding. Glider. As we kept telling mm. Kennedy, gliding. Um, but now there is the the rumors coming out with the next uh, Batman game, and uh, they're confirming the Count of Owls. Will be showing up. What was that? Court of Owls. Court of Owls. Sorry. Court of Owls. Count one, <laughs> two, three, bird. Originally introduced in the new 52 storyline. <laughs> no, sold it. <laughs> they have uh, they've been in Gotham for many, many years, kind of overseeing everything, and then finally <laughs> decide to make their appearance known to Batman and cause all kinds of havoc. Along with his the- brother's one of them. Uh, what's that? His brother was one of them. He was the one of the the court of owls. Yes, you're right. The count of owls. The the, the court. <laughs> one, oh two, three. Three, quick three owls. owls. <laughs> Along with the Suicide Squad game, uh, with which released an image, we should be getting more information uh, again next. They week. also said um, Two Face is kind of like the second main villain of the Batman game. Really, I saw that. So I figured that maybe him and the what Count of Owls are going to be working. Really about you, not me. I'm not even on the billboard. He is no selling that Count of Owls shit, class. <laughs> <laughs> not putting it over. It's all right. Sometimes two I mispronounce two one. It, okay, I'm sorry. I say the wrong words and they come out of my mouth and I just keep going. <laughs> Destroy of words. Why this is? A- <laughs> he is the galactus of the vocabulary. <laughs> problems with what I say. And how I put them together. Because here's the thing, though. <laughs> if it was one of us, you would do the same fucking thing. So. <laughs> no, no. I never make fun of any of you all for what you do. Uh, and then the last, <laughs> I literally have fucking Twitter responses and Facebook responses that say otherwise, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, uh, where it looks like we're going to get in beginning of the boys season three and uh, Jensen Ackles has now been uh, scheduled to be playing uh, Soldier Boy. Who is, uh, in essence, Captain America, if you've read the comics. With a coke problem. Yeah, well, in a cock problem. And, uh. Uh, (laughs) Isn't that everybody's problem in that fucking show? Uh, Yeah. Well, because in that comic book. Which kind of tells me I'm wondering if they're going to be doing hero gasm in season three. Because that's, uh, that's one of the stories. Because, uh, Home, um, Homelander makes him suck his dick and, like, you don't tell anybody and it's not gay. So he's like, sure, let me be in the, uh, let me be in the seven. Um, an interesting part is. That's how you get in the seven though. That's, that's. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I don't. I mean, I, I doubt that they do that because they didn't do that. And that was like, kind of like one of the most 
no. shocking things in the first issue, I believe, with the girl. Yeah, and, get a and they're multiple. There, she was like the the chick with the Phoenix Suns. Um, but <laughs> fucking, I I'm trying to figure out like they're not going the same direction with Homelander they, in the show that they are in the comic book, right? Unless they do a switch with um, uh, I don't want to say because then that spoils it, but another black character tint <laughs> could be a clone of some certain home i think you spoiled that on the show already i think so yes uh but I, yeah i really feel like they're going a different direction but uh jensen ackles was actually number two for the original part of captain america before it went to chris evans i think they made the right choice <laughs> so if you really you are getting Captain America, or we'll get to see what Captain America would have been with Jensen. As gay guy. Well, no, he's trying to get up. <laughs> I know, I know. I know it upsets you. you no, know I gotta finish. I gotta start, I gotta finish the boys. I left off. I gotta finish In the book. Yeah, you definitely gotta finish the comics. It's good. Okay. So. I will. All right. Well, that will bring the show to a close. Class. Um, what'd you learn this week? I, I learned that, um, for, uh, $12, you guys could probably drag me to Blockbuster. I would pay and actually force me to watch a movie. And, um, I'd, I'd actually do that. I'd hang out on beanbag chair, eat snacks and watch, watch, get, you know, watch all that. Gremlins. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, Gremlins. Mean, I figure if we, we like brought beer, had some, uh, some other things to eat. Mm-hmm. Some good snacks. Um, I think you can mm. stay with us and watch a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. need those. Uh, like the enhanced my commentary, so. and and Joshua says that's that's what's to die for is my commentary. Why watching a live movie? No, no. I want to experience that because I feel like you're such a fucking nitpicker that we could watch a fucking movie and you'd be like, oh, oh, look at this. Well, well, see, well, no, no, here's the thing. If I go to a theater, I stay quiet because I am respectful. You will bitch about I'm, it I'm after the fact, Batman right? Have Superman, have this. I'm just like, oh my god. Have discussion afterwards, so like, well, did you yeah. all notice? I mean, yeah. kind of like what we're doing. We here, are so. sitting in a room with just ourselves. Fuck you! I'll fucking talk to that. Whole <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's what I learned. <laughs> Joshua, what did you learn this week? Fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> My, I, I don't have good reception. It's going in and out. Uh, what, what did you, you learn, Joshua? He was wanting to know. No? Okay. <laughs> Wrap it up. So that's it? You didn't learn anything? You just, uh, you're just, you're just, kind yeah, of... it's, it's bad reception. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. What, did, what, what happened? Did you ask me what I learned this week? Yes. That's what we asked you. Uh, oh, yeah. I learned like LeBron James doesn't like uh, losing and he'll, he'll change the subject when he loses. <laughs> well, do you think he really likes losing? No, just I just find it funny. Like he he's supposed to win, and like when he doesn't win, it's like ah, I'm not talking about basketball. I'm talking about social justice stuff. Like I'm like, no, hey buddy, we're paying. You're the chosen one. You got like a top five. So, Uh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I wrap it up, Doc. It's going bad. There's people out there willing to pay 15 cents to go see a movie that could be filled with COVID running rampant. At their local AMC theater. I will. Why? Shit. Because I want to see movies for 15 cents that just came out. No, it's Even not. Even though that's, no, that's not the case. Those are not the ones. I know. I know. I, I, I know. I know. That's not the case. Movie I, theaters ain't opening up here in uh, New then, York then, anytime soon. Warner Brothers is really putting it over on the theaters. They're like, hey, you got to open up, but you're going to give us 80% of the take on Tenet. So. Yeah, go see Tenet. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to give us all that money, but you're going to have to keep it safe. I did hear that Train to Busan is uh, two, the Peninsula or whatever is supposed to be coming out uh, in theaters. I think Friday, and I'm like, I'll mask up. I want to see that shit in the theater. You're not gonna see it here. It's not gonna be around here. I heard it is. Oh, where, dude? Dude, watch, watch here. Another localized part of the show. If you live in the Louisville, Southern Indiana area, uh, what was it? Train to Busan. Yep. Uh, Peninsula. It's gonna be. It's in Louisville. Where? 
Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm waiting. I want to know. All right. Well, you have to do some editing. When's it come out? <laughs> it, comes <laughs> out it comes out on Dane time. Dane time. That's when it, it came out, out last week. Did it? Yep. Came out on the 12th. I heard about it on that. What on that? Uh, I heard it's supposed to come out on like the 20, or it's supposed to be running like the 26th or the 21st. AMC, hold on. AMC Louisville. Let's take a look here. They don't even open until next week. Okay. Well, maybe look. Maybe I'm just totally wrong too. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> maybe possible. The guy, the guy who doesn't watch movies is right about what time a movie comes out or when it comes out. Man, all right. Let's see. I'm trying to click on advanced tickets to see if it actually goes anywhere. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nope, really doesn't say anything. I don't think it's. I don't think that's the movie that's gonna go. Cause no, I mean who? No, no, no. I'll be watching it on Plex. Oh, yeah, yeah, put it on Plex. Yeah, put it on Plex. <laughs> Not on Plex. All right. Uh, well then, Plex. <laughs> class. How can, can we, we get learn season two you? of uh, the Life and Times and Tim? What's that? Can we get season two of the Life and Times of Tim? And I don't have all the seasons on there. Train to Busan. Great news. Theater is planned to reopen August 27th. But that's, I don't know if that's just a generic kind of. No, they're the first movie is that Russell Crowe movie and then Tenet. So, yeah, that's not. That's the number one movie in the world. Did yeah, you see that? No. <laughs> yeah, they keep, they're like the number one movie in the world on the hands. I'm like, well, that's the only movie that comes out. It is like... the only one that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't, that'd be bad. Like the and Keanu Australia, Reeves Australia. movie with baseball, where you're teaching those uh, kids baseball or something. There was the movie that came out after 9 11 because nobody wanted to go do anything. You mean Hardball? Was that it? Yeah, it's called Hardball. Yeah, that was like the number one movie. Uh, but yeah, I was like, Australia has like no COVID problem, so I guess they opened up the movie theaters. What the cat gets your attention. I, know. <laughs> I don't know why he's yelling at me. Class, what, uh, how can we find more information about you? As you probably saw at the beginning of the show, when my name came across and you saw a tag, right, Doc? Uh, you could get a hold of me at Chris Class, BRH, on Instagram or Twitter. All right. And then, Joshua, how can we find more information about you? Uh, yeah, if you want to see me bitch and moan about basketball, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Basketball. Well, it's a, it's a playoff, so, you know, I'm always going to be watching the games and complaining. Uh, you can catch me at Green Eye Bebop. Um, and if you want to see me post stuff randomly on Instagram, just follow me at uh, Green Eye Bebop on uh, Instagram as well. Excellent. And if you want to find more information about the fracking nerds, go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We've got the, you can watch, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, go watch the video of us and see what we look like. And then judge us on our looks and actually add more content to it. So, uh, yes, enjoy. Don't worry, this is going to get all trimmed off soon enough. And then if you, uh, you want to uh, see what I write on Twitter, go to Doc underscore Martin. And, uh, oh, you mean when you want to just bother me? Yeah. I've been posting random <laughs> stuff recently. Like when I oh, get yeah, LeBron my... James loses. I'm going to tag LeBron James because he's going to look at him like that goddamn Doc Martin. Ah, fuck him. And the Lakers. I did I did make sure that they were. Uh, if I... I was on the fucking Hawks, he'd be happy I was on his fucking No, team. I wouldn't. I don't, <laughs> don't want him on the Hawks because I heard You're a fucking liar. You're a no, fucking No, I don't want to because that means I'd have to. That was like when Christian Leitner played for the Hawks. And I'm like, oh, no, I can't. Can't root for you. Just, I just can't. I can't. All is not forgiven if uh, <laughs> someone from, from another team that like you might despise or a player might despise goes on your team. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like that. Like, you know, like at football as well. Like someone jumps to the Falcons. Who do you hate? Like Dak Prescott or something. He ends up taking Matt Ryan's place. And you're like, yeah, yeah let's go I'm Dak. Mad. Yeah, I get really mad because the other half of the Falcons fans that are like, oh, Michael Vick was the best we ever have. Those fans. Um, yeah, they would. That would uh, probably Brady. Okay. I would be annoyed if Brady joined the team. The greatest Brady? quarterback of all time. I would be. Your I mean, team. I, you can't You'd hate happy. him on your team. So Imagine Tom Brady and Julio Jones. I know. Oh, yeah, bro. Well, no, because he's not going to throw to Julio. He's going to throw no, to – No, he'd throw like to – uh, Up the middle. <laughs> no, they just tell – Austin Julio Hooper? Throw. Is that who that, that no, tight end? Get rid of him. 
Oh, okay, okay. That's how fucking Julio run, run and cut to the middle. He'll throw to you all the time. Like Calvin Ridley, dude. Calvin Ridley could possibly, but now Calvin Ridley's your number two, so he's gonna be on the outside. So I don't know who. Not that with is. that bum fucking guy, uh, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan. No, I'm sorry. I thought Ridley was. Uh, who's the Who's the running back? Oh, uh, Coleman. What's that? Tevin Coleman. Yeah. No, yeah, they have he's Coleman. Old... The guy from the Rams. Yeah, we got the guy. You got the guy from the. Oh, Rams Gurley. Coleman. Did y'all get Gurley? Yeah. Yeah, they got girly, but he's got a bad knee, so it's like, eh. Yeah, they don't feel like that dude had, that like, dude two great seasons. Themselves. No, they feel like two great right. seasons, and, like, they're going to – it's all right. How's your, how's your uh, Washington team doing with all their rape <laughs> allegations? Yeah, Washington. You don't even have a the name. They're not, my, they're not even my team anymore. That's what this season's going to be for me. It's going to be me worrying about my fantasy football Washington team, team and searching out, like, a new football team to – Watch with the Washington football team actually like make it to the Super Bowl this year. Like, you they don't won. be a Falcons fan. That's fine. We well, we do have like Jack Del Rio now, so it's like well, that's pretty cool. I was really interested in that. Then now, now we don't even have like a name. Job with Carolina. Hmm. Well, the first like what season or two that he had. With I Cam. think he built the and basis then. for a good defense on Carolina, and then he just, once they got Cam Newton, they were just like we're going to shy away from that. Like he's yeah. a very defensive minded coach. Yeah, they didn't know what to do with Cam so. Newton. And, and that's something that they, they need in Washington. That footage of Newton, they were like, oh, we don't have to shut him down. And then they start tackling him. He's like, that hurts. Stop. That hurts. <laughs> I'm going to put my blouse on and my hat. Stop making fun of me. You know what? The thing is, though, like, maybe that wasn't his call. Maybe that was management's call because, you know, the guy the who fucking owns the car line. No, I'm talking about, like, when they were supposed to shut Cam Newton down. Like, what? maybe that's not his call. Maybe that's management, you know? That very likely could be. We don't know. But he's a weirdo, too, so I don't see him on the Patriots. Bill Belichick's like, you got to get the fuck out. Antonio Brown lasted one game. I think Cam Newton doesn't fucking <laughs> last one week. Like, they were talking about that on ESPN. Like, oh, he's definitely going to be the starter. I'm like, Bill Belichick is like, no. Nah. I'll go with this guy who could be a backup to fucking the guy working on fucking uh, the supermarket over yep. Cam Newton. So There you will. Yeah, that's how it could be. All right. Doc, well, what, what's your prediction? Who has a better record? Who has a better record, Tom Brady on the Bucks or Bill Belichick with his new team? I hope Bill Belichick does. <laughs> Ooh, I don't see that happening. I think there are way too many, way too many uh, uh, good class, targets in, in, in Tampa Bay. There's a reason why I want Yeah, Belichick. but his arm strength is going away, man. Like, yeah, but then, with, yeah, you have uh, – what is the name of their tight end? I forgot Tampa Bay's tight end. Mike but, um, Evans. No, yeah, Mike Evans, who's a wide receiver there. You got – uh, Gronk now. Yeah, Gronk's their tight end. I forgot who the other one is. Again, they also had a- class, the reason I'd rather Belichick have a better season is because I'm a Falcons <laughs> fan. That makes sense. Really that makes sense. Not that- Tampa. I got you. You don't want anyone in your division to yeah, like No, yeah. no. God forbid if it's the Patriots. Or not the Patriots, the Saints. Oh, geez, yeah. Christ. Yeah, that makes sense. Normal. Yeah, you don't want any. Uh, who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> I'm, pl- I'm working on a- – You know they're going to like – do what? They're going to hurt Drew Brees, right? <laughs> oh, man. He's going to have a bounty on his fucking – on his birthmarked face, man. He is – LeBron James put the bounty out on fucking Drew Brees. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be some head hunting. I'm getting – because you know they made that Funko Pop of uh, bag Baghead uh, Spider-Man? I'm going to get a uh, Saint Funko Pop. Because back in the day, they were so embarrassed about how they play, they used to wear sacks mm-hmm. over their head. So I'm going to make a yep. Saints fan. Funko, shut the hell up. <laughs> Whatever. Like anyway, so I'll bring the show That's to a close. Angry Doc. The cat is <laughs> pissed off about something in the world. All right. So for Calist. Clist- blah. Fuck it. Just in the show. No, for. Uh, Destroy Man, your words. What were we just saying? <laughs> Destroy your words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for uh, Chris Class all the way over there in Indiana and Joshua all the way on the East Coast. This is Doc Martins and have a fracking good week. Are we supposed to look at you now, Joshua, with your hat and everything else? There we go. Look at his hair. That's what we talk about. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>